A lot of oohs and a lot of ahs. <laughs> Kemp from Jordan. Fouled as he went up. You know, it don't matter if you make the shot in a game like this. This is where you want to try everything that you can ever imagine. So this is when you want the fans to go, ooh, ah. You know, Sean Kemp came to my camp when he was 17 years old. And the size that he is now today is the exact size that he was at 17. <laughs> he was really a man amongst boys. And he played with the same type of intensity. So you have Kobe coming down right here. Kevin Garnett's give him the ooh, and Kobe comes back with a ah. But no. Sometime in these games, though, there's the opportunity to make a simple play, and they try to put a little bit more on it, and it backfires. That time, Kobe unable to convert. Well, the timing is on, man. You know, when you got great players like this playing out on the court, it usually takes them about five minutes to adjust to get used to each other's timing and rhythm. Kemp. Sean Kemp. The East by five at 14-9. Here's Peyton, who had 17 points and 10 assists and a losing cause for the West last year in Cleveland. O'Neal screening for him. He gets it back on the lob, draws a double team. A much better passer than a lot of people realize. This time he tries to take it to the hoop, but he's bumped by Matumbo for the foul. See, this is what Shaq, you know, normally wouldn't do. But in an all-star game, he wants to take it between his legs and go behind his back. This year's Lakers, with Eddie Jones, Nick Van Exel, Kobe Bryant, and Shaquille O'Neal, the first team since the 1983 Philadelphia 76ers to send four of their players to the all-star game. So you got Shaq out on the perimeter now, isolated against Matumbo. And he, he's trying all the, the moves that he dreamed about when he was a guard growing up. He went between his legs. He just tried to give him a Steve Smith hitch and go move. Hill misses. Kemp rebounds, but loses it. And Garnett is on the end line. It'll belong to the East. A timeout is to play in the first and the East. And this is the crowd responding to Ali's image on the Jumbotron overhead. As we come back, Jordan takes the quick inbound pass, and his shot rattles out. Here comes Bryant ahead of the field, reverse slam. Oh, that, that, see, that was a ooh and a ah and a clap. See, that's what I'm talking about. In an all-star game, you want to do things that you normally wouldn't do. Kobe understands at a very young age how to entertain. The great outlet pass started it by Shaq. A lot of centers don't outlet the ball anymore. They want to be involved in their own offense. But Shaq knows how important that Kobe's electricity is to the team. Setting him up, the delivery, the spin, the... What's that, the helicopter? No, that, that's called a 360 no. in your face <laughs> slam dunk at 19. To, to, to be 19. That, that's when the defenders run to the other end of the court when they see him coming like that at you. Oh, yeah, nobody wants to play against him nowadays. Everybody is looking at Kobe saying, oh, Kobe's coming to town. Kobe's coming to town. The fans and everybody screaming. Nobody wants anything to do with this kid. There's a problem with the clock, and that's the reason for the delay, giving us a chance to look at Kobe again. So you see Kobe gets to here. He plants, he jumps, he spins, and that's the slam dunk in your face. Last year was Kobe's first All-Star game as a visitor, even though his parents grew up in the NBA. This is Hardaway to the left hand and Matumbo with the follow. But at the NBA 50 celebration last year, Kobe told us, he said that he learned from Earl Monroe and Tiny Archibald that patience is the ultimate key to his long-term success. He had a fabulous time in Cleveland last year, as we all did. Except maybe in the All-Star game. He looked a little impatient there that last trip down the floor. He's got the ball in his hands again. To Garnett. Back to Kobe! Ooh. See, that's the ooh. Kobe and Garnett. You know, two of the youngest the superstars. Keying up, eyeing each other. As they get their tempo and they get their rhythm, the game and the pace will start to quicken. Now they need to push it up the court and keep pushing it and keep pushing it. Kobe with six. Hill just to step inside the three-point line, and he has half a dozen. So you got to make another spectacular play coming back. You can't come down and set it up right now. You just had a spectacular play. Now you got to get the fans into it. Peyton's pass is intercepted by Kemp. Here's Jordan on the wing, slapped away by Peyton. Gary Peyton is doing everything he can to set Shaq up. This time it's Garnett, oh, yeah, and now Shaq. <laughs> against Matumbo, who makes him change the shot, and finally, they whistle play dead. No, that's true. 
Kobe Bryant in transition. He's going to give it up here. And then Kevin Garnett showing that he can pass. When I asked all these players who their heroes were coming up, I think your name came up all the time. But Kevin Garnett, he said that his favorite player, he wanted to be like Magic Johnson. It, he's showing it right there, setting up the finish for Kobe well above the rim. Nice. Tim Hardaway in, Penny Hardaway out in the backcourt for the East. There's Tim Hardaway of the Miami Heat on Gary Payton. Hill gets a piece of the pass and Kemp comes away with it. Kemp pushing it up the floor, takes it in, dumps it off to Hill, and the reverse isn't there, but Jordan stuffs it home. Now they, now they, now they gotta push it up. Somebody gotta get it in bounds and push it up quick. That's how you get the fans in it. You can't come down and walk it up right now. But the big guys for the West are, aren't running back on defense. Shaq banks it in. You know, Shaq has a game when he gets down low. He's strong enough and big enough where he can take a basket. He can gangster a basket. Shaq with seven. Kemp against Malone, who fouled it. When you watch Michael Jordan finish plays that other people put Grand Hill unable to get the reverse layup, then Michael and everybody else is standing. And to me, that's the beauty of Michael Jordan. It's about timing. It's about positioning. Everybody else is going to be down on the floor, not knowing where the ball is. And Michael, high above the rim. Everybody else, only a spectator. Jason Williams of the Nets checks in. Jordan, baseline, got it. The thing that is happening out here today is nobody's double teaming anybody. So you're allowed to ex display your skills. You're allowed to use all your moves because the coaches wisely have decided not to employ any traps or any double teams. Bryant for three. He didn't come here to be bashful. 